Welcome to the Raven Wolf channel. This is Anna. Hello. <laughs> and um, this is the part two of the crystal show that I did earlier. Um, I was actually going to do this live, uh, live streaming, uh, but I realized that this video is not going to be very long. So there's no really a reason to live stream for a few, a couple, a few minutes, you know? So. On the part one, if you guys haven't checked it out, I explain all the, uh, not explain, but uh, I showed uh, my favorite crystals, the crystals that I use on a daily basics, basis. Um, and I explain also the metaphysical uses and properties. So yeah, you guys should check it out. But anyways, this is part two, and this in this part two, um, I'm gonna show show you guys how I prep my crystals uh, for a full moon, for a full moon charging. Now um, I haven't charged my crystals in a very in a while on the moonlight uh, because before I move, uh, my life was a little crazy, and you know I just didn't have time. <laughs> And then with the whole move to my new place. Anyways, long story short, I haven't charged them in a few months now. And I don't know, I just felt the need to do it this moon, this full moon uh, coming up. Um, I just feel like they need that extra oomph, if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this is what I do. I get a Pyrex uh, container or glass yeah container whatever and I put the crystals yeah this is not a crystal it's a shell but yes um, I put my crystals that I'm gonna be charging on on the Pyrex and I do them in a way I don't know if you guys can see we're not like overlapping one on top whoop, one on top of each other but you know there's enough space. Oh my goodness, I'm dropping them all over the floor. Um, so yeah, um, I don't have this. And I might just, um, instead of putting, on, putting, putting this on a Pyrex, since it's already on a glass thingy, I think I'll just take this, I'll just take this outside and put in the moonlight, but just make sure they're not overlapping so they all get to share some moonlight. Um, I'm gonna put the ones that I showed you guys earlier. So I think, yeah, I think just this two trays are the ones that I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out in the moonlight. I have lots of selenite. Um, I'm obsessed with selenite, <laughs> as you guys can see. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and the ones on my pouch. These are the ones, well, that I use and that I put under my pillow. Um, there's my. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna put the shell out there, just because it's taking space. Um. See my more selenite, and I will recommend. Um, well, if it's raining outside, like for example, where I'm at, it's actually raining, um, and some crystals they will get damaged if they get wet. So, um, if I will, ha I wouldn't. If I would not have a a place to put them. Uh, outside without getting wet uh, and I've done this before actually I will put them on a Ziploc bag now I recommend for you guys or yeah for you guys to put your crystals when you charge them in the moonlight uh, open 
like uh, don't put anything over to cover them because it's better if they get exposed to to the elements the way they are but like I said um, sometimes uh, we can't have them exposed especially if it's raining so you know there's other ways to put it either to put them in a ziplock bag or to put another like a bowl that will go over like a, a glass bowl or something and even though the full moon is not uh it's supposed to be tomorrow on the 24th right um the energies of the moon stayed stay for be three days before and three days after so I can actually put these ones out to charge tonight. Uh, it would have been best if I would have put them, you know, the whole three days. But um, so they're going to get charged tonight, tomorrow night, and three days after tomorrow night. Just so they can get 100% um, charge. Um, also, not only the moon, the moon, uh, the full moon is good to, for charging them. But they're all, it's also good for cleansing. Um, I was trying to get this knot out of my necklace, but I can't get it out. So I'm, I'm just going to put my amber necklace and my um, clear quartz there. Um, so, oh yeah, I was going to say. So it can be used for both, for charging your crystals and for cleansing your crystals. Me, personally, now, you don't have to do this. This is just a thing that I do. I don't know. I actually get my sage, and I smudge them before I, um, before I put them outside. Like I said, this step is not really necessary. It's just one of those things that, you know, I guess you can call it a ritual, because, you know, I do it, and I don't know. I just like doing it. It's not necessary at all because the moonlight for the uh, on the full moon serves for both cleansing and um, cleansing and charging. So here I'm trying to get some. Let me get my my feathers. So yeah, just. Um, with the smoke of the sage, just smudge them. Just make sure you get them all. And then the other ones. Now if you want, but that since you know, if you only have a few pieces that you wanna do this, that's fine, you can do it individually like this. You know? But as you guys can tell, <laughs> there's a lot of them. So I, I'm not going to do them individually. I just do it in a general way. And yeah. So that's pretty much all I do. Um, a while ago, I think it was the beginning of this year, I did a similar video and I show you guys how I... Um, I put them together and stuff, but um, it's been a while and I just wanted to do a part one and part two. So these little thingies, the thingies, these little, I don't want to call them babies because that's weird, but hmm, let's see. These little crystals <laughs> are all set and ready to be put outside and ready to be charged on the moonlight. So yes, I think I'm just gonna take this two and put them outside. Um, I'm gonna do this tonight, tomorrow night, and three more days after tomorrow night, just so they can get the whole energies of the moon. Again, this is just how I do it. You don't have, you can just put them for one night. You know, there's no wrong, right way of doing it, you know? It's whatever, whatever feels right to you. And to me, this is a little ritual, ritual that I've been doing for a while. So, yes, that seemed to work for me. So, I just wanted to share this little 
ritual um, preparation for the moonlight. Um, and I hope you guys learned something. And I will guys, I will talk to you guys later. Much love. Bye.